90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, Season 7 has been a roller coaster of drama, however, the season also had its fair share of good moments. Happily Ever After Season 7 was filled with controversial couples, including Kim Menzies and Usman Sojaboy Umar, along with Angela Deem and Michael Alassani from 90 Day Fiancé, Before the 90 Days. Shaida Sween and Bilal Haziz also returned after their debut on 90 Day Fiancé Season 9, as did Big Ed Brown and Liz Woods following their time on 90 Day, The Single Life Seasons 1 and 2. Jenny Sladen and Sumit Singh were also featured this season, after appearing on 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way Seasons 1, 2, and 3. Elizabeth Libby Pothest and Andre Kastravid also returned after previously starring on Happily Ever After Seasons 4, 5, and 6, whereas Yara Zaya and Joby Dufresne came back after appearing on Happily Ever After Season 6. While the majority of Happily Ever After Season 7 was filled with conflict and drama, there were a few happy moments that made the season somewhat wholesome. 90 Day Fiancé's Libby and Andres pregnancy announcement While the majority of Libby and Andres' storyline is consumed by Libby's problematic family members, their pregnancy announcement at the Grand Canyon was one of the most touching moments of the season. Libby and Andre decided to take both of their fathers on a trip to the Grand Canyon to announce that they were expecting a second baby, which they revealed with the help of their daughter Eleanor. Libby's father Chuck Pothest and Andre's father Stefan Kastravid were overjoyed by the announcement, and were both thankful to be present for the special moment. 90 Day Fiancé's Kim's son Jamal's trip to Nigeria Kim traveled to Nigeria twice during Happily Ever After Season 7, and was accompanied by her son Jamal Menzies for the second. Jamal is a fan favorite among 90 Day Fiancé fans, and they are always happy to watch any scenes that he is a part of. Many fans were glad to see Jamal travel to Nigeria and meet Usman, as they often find him to be more mature than Kim. Jamal did not hesitate to share his concerns with Usman, which many fans appreciated as they feel that Kim often beats around the bush. While the trip was mostly serious, it was heartwarming to watch Usman give Jamal a PS5, as it clearly made Jamal happy. 90 Day Fiancé's Jenny and Sumit's Honeymoon While the majority of Jenny and Sumit's storyline in 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, Season 7 once again revolved around Sumit's parents, the couple did get a breath of fresh air on their honeymoon. Jenny and Sumit traveled to Rishikesh for the special occasion, where they got to participate in fun and thrilling activities such as ziplining. It is clear that Jenny and Sumit enjoyed their time away from home together and had a truly romantic honeymoon. While many of Jenny and Sumit's scenes often annoy viewers, their honeymoon was rather wholesome. Even though this season was dramatic, light-hearted moments like these made it worth watching.